Well, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video here with your host, Andrew. Today, you join me for a couple of items. Firstly, we're going to be having a look at my Leonardo Officina Italiana Messenger in Caramel. This is the first pen which I reviewed on the channel. And secondly, we're going to be having a look at a new ink brand on the market, and that is Dominant Industry. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so before we start on today's video, just got a little bit of a news item. Last year, during the height of the pandemic, uh, the Fountain Pens UK Facebook group organised 12 Nights of Fountain Pens. And essentially what that was, it was celebrating the diverse range of creativity and the craftsmanship and the knowledge of the fountain pen community. And we ended up on a quiz at the end as well. And we had some prizes and it was just absolutely fantastic. This year it's back again and it's better and bigger than ever. So this year we've got um, people such as Ben Walsh from Gravitas Pens, who will be starting on the 10th of December, which will be the first chat. And then we've got Salvatore Matroni from Leonardo, yes. He is a member on the Phantom Pens UK Facebook group and he will be giving a talk about his company, I believe. We've also got Lucas Street as well. We've got um, Edmund, uh, I can't pronounce your last name. I do apologize, uh, but he will be talking about um, pen photography, which I'll be very, very interested in as uh, photography is a major passion of mine. And we've got a whole slew of other people as well. Um, so if you're interested in going to check that out, I would invite you to join the UK Phantom Pen Facebook group and I'll provide a, a link to the group at the top and also in the description below. So do come along, <coughs> there will be prizes and you will be joining an incredible community. So please do consider that. Okay, so now on to the content itself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be having a look at the first pen which I reviewed on my YouTube channel. And I thought it'd be quite fitting to have a look at a new brand um, at the same time. And this is Dominant Industry. They had been going for a little time um, in South Korea. And having spoken to them, they were looking to branch out into the West. So I did suggest a few places, uh, such as Pure Pens, Colt Pens, and some stationers in uh, the States, such as Yoseka. And... Generally speaking, the feedback on these inks has been absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do listen to uh, Brad from The Pen Addict on his fantastic podcast, um, he's given some absolutely wonderful praise to these inks, and quite rightly so. The colour ranges are absolutely fantastic, and I've really thoroughly enjoyed using these. The shimmering inks are just absolutely incredible, and we will be having a look at some of those inks down the line. I do have examples on my Instagram, so if you would like to go and check that out, I'll put a link at the top um, to the, I think it was the Dominant Industry uh, Sunset. Yes, I think that's what it was. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's got like purple and yellow hues in there. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So the ink we're gonna be looking at today is Downpour, uh, which is kind of like a, a purpley blue, um, which is quite light. And then we're gonna be uh, utilizing our Leonardo Officina Italiana Messenger, along with a, what's, uh, which number this? Number one, uh, De La Roni System 3 brush. And we've also got some Sakura Micron uh, fine liners just to finish off the artwork, which I'm in the process of doing at the moment. So, join me over at the table. I'll um, start doing some drawing and I'll share some thoughts on the pen and as well as the ink at the end of the video. Okay, I'm not gonna to speak too long about this uh, Leonardo Messenger, just purely because I want to try and get on with the artwork and the battery is slowly dying, so I'll have to get this uh, charged up again um, soon. But I do absolutely love um, writing and drawing with this pen. This pen does turn heads in work and quite rightly so, this material is just absolutely fantastic. Now, I am an Arushi fan, um, but, you know, this, this really is an absolutely wonderful caramel material. And it has been seen on other pens as well, but it really does look quite at home here on this messenger. The writing experience of this pen is just 
absolutely second to none. This Yevo nib performs exceedingly well, absolutely fantastic. And although this is the older style uh, before they made the full switch over to Yevo, it, it, it just writes and draws just beautifully. I can go onto the reverse, I can go onto the front, and it does provide a fantastic experience. And certainly I think this is one of the most underrated pens, certainly in this price segment. And certainly, you know, if you are looking to make a step up in your Phantom Pen Collection journey, this is definitely a place you might want to consider. Okay, so now on to a new company. So I'm gonna talk more about this in depth at the end of the video. Um, not too much depth, because as I say, I'm not a scientific person, but this one is the Downpour Ink from Dominant Industries. They're based in South Korea and they really are just absolutely beautiful inks. Uh, I will provide, as I say, um, a link to my Instagram. I've got a few other examples on there, so do go and check that out. But uh, that really leaves it for now, uh, other than to say, please sit back, um, watch and enjoy.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you for bearing with me so far. Really, really enjoyed this ink. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I know I did show you briefly, guys, the actual contents before, but I really wanted to sort of give a little bit more concentration on that. So let's just take that out. So the first time you actually open the box, you're going to be presented with this lovely burlap style bag uh, with the various branding on there, dominant industry. Uh, really nice. I think that is goes a long way to actually, you know, showing that you care about your product. Um, and we also get, oh, we get a pipette as well, uh, which is something really unusual. You don't normally get any sort of ink filling mechanisms with your ink. But yeah, if you do want to eyedrop a pen, you get given a pipette. And I think that's just a, such a wonderful little afterthought. And it's those little afterthoughts, which I feel goes such a long way for actually enticing you in to buy a ink. Now, obviously, it is a little bit of a gimmick, but it's a gimmick which works. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with everything about this ink. The bottle is beautiful. We've got that lovely laurel leaf on the top, inverts into like a light bulb. It's just something really completely unique in a world full of square boxes, circular bottles. It's just nice to see something a little bit different on the market. Now, Dominant Industry have a tremendous amount of range of inks, and I will be talking a bit more about those in future videos. Um, but one which I really want to try is one which uh, reacts with UV light. Uh, so, yeah. Do look out for that. It's um, called Perdo, and I will be doing that um, sometime in the early part of next year, um, or maybe sooner, depending on when I get a UV lamp. Anyway, really happy with how this um, turned out, and I really loved actually pairing it with this KWZ calligraphy ink. The copper effect on here, when it hits the light, is just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that was definitely a worthwhile uh, purchased that uh, KWZ ink and certainly something which I'll be experimenting with more in the future. I did contemplate with going with a, like a yellow gold, uh, but I wanted to go for something a little bit different. Um, copper isn't something which is often used for sort of decorating borders, so I thought that might be something a little bit different. And I have to say I'm really happy with the results. Anyway, that does leave it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Next week, I may have a Gravitas pen on uh, in for review, but if I don't, I will be certainly doing some more ink explorations and possibly another one from Colt Pens or from Dominant Industries. I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe you can help me decide, so do leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Anyway, that really does leave it for today. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now.